crop for 2020. So start off on the sides, combing out a slightly diagonal section. So here, comb the hair straight out and cut in your guideline, making sure that it's slightly graduated. I'm working with quite high graduation here at about 80 degrees. So it's borderline layering. But the reason why I chose like high graduation is it'll give my structure through the top area more support. Because again, short hair is stronger than long hair, so it'll lift it and kick my shape around. Okay, so as you're cutting your way through the sides, there's some key elements you need to take into consider with every section. One is your body position. So whenever you can, stand directly in front of what you're cutting. So this will allow your natural tendency to over direct the hair to your center of balance, like your chest area. So by having the best body position in place, you'll be able to achieve perfection through the sides with much less effort. Okay, so here my side area starts to blend into the back. So through the back portion of this cut, I'll be using a different technique. So here I'm just trying to retain just a slightly little bit more amount of weight or length. So I'm over directing the hair just to the prior section, just slightly. So now that I reach the back portion of this haircut, there's two techniques that I'll be working on. The first technique from crown to the occipital bone, I'll be cutting layers. And then from the occipital bone to the nape area, I'll adjust the angle of my fingers and start cutting in high graduation. So again, working from layering and blending it into a graduated shape throughout the nape. way to actually execute the back area because it's a bit complicated because again you're transitioning from layers to graduation is to have a have a clear map in your mind that intention will guide you a lot better and you'll find that you'll have much less errors so now on the opposite side again I'm combing the hair out high graduation remember we're cutting at about 80 degrees and again, the reason why I selected graduation is because I want that strength and support that graduation gives me because graduation is a buildup of weight. If I went in and layered the sides, I would be removing weight so then it wouldn't give that much structural support to the top portion of the haircut. And as you're working, you always have to be conscious about your stroke count and the excellence of the strands that you comb. As I comb the hair out, I want to ensure that the hair that I comb is parallel to the teeth of my comb from the roots to my guidelines. And again, I really don't want to see any snags because any snags in the hair that I comb, that actually represents longer lengths. So again, 
here I'm building up some weight via over direction checking for visual symmetry and balance so now that my shape again is flowing into the back portion I'm working from layering and blending into graduation so notice how the angle of my fingers changed once I start working below that occipital bone area Always keep in mind as you're working these shapes, I want my elbows, fingers, sections, scissors, all symmetrical, all parallel. My body position has a tremendous effect on the overall shape that I'm creating. So as I'm cutting any graduated shape, I'll adapt my body position to actually mimic the same shape that I'm cutting. It's a little bit mm, exhausting more tiring, but it had the overall effect that it has on the end result is, is absolutely priceless. Okay, so now that I'm working through the top portion, I'm gonna section them off into two areas. One is from the center of the ear to the crown, and here I'm combing the hair straight out, and I'm cutting in square layers. So again, make sure you comb the hair super clean from roots to ends. The angle of my comb is zero degrees. Fingers, elbows, shears, they're all zero degrees. So again, this will encourage the shape that I cut to be the most consistent. So again, working with my previous as a guideline, I continue to cut in my square layers through the portion that sits right in front of the crown. work in small manageable sections and stand on the opposite side of what you're cutting so again your body position here will encourage your over direction to be much more consistent taking it the next section coming it straight out working I took half of my previous as my guideline and I'll just work this technique until the hair doesn't reach now for the front portion of the top here I'm over directing the hair back to that longest length so again working in small manageable sections I'm creating two types of graduation one is an angle in my finger and the other graduation that I'm creating is through over direction. Now here, I'm, I'll be working with disconnection, but I don't want the disconnection like so out of control that it throws off my shape. So it actually connects with the first section and every section after that, my disconnection increases. <laughs> Working with this connection is, is actually quite fun, but it has to be intentional. You, you really don't want to go out and create this connection that's unintentional because that's basically just a bad haircut. 
So again, over directing, cutting in my angle, elbows, scissors, shears, sections, comb, they're all parallel. Again, this will encourage the greatest amount of control. So with this final section, I'm just blending in these little lengths. Her fringe barely reached my guidelines. Make visual assessments and we'll jump into the blow dry. Just checking for symmetry and balance. I'll just flat wrap this hair until it's dry, pushing the hair in multiple directions to encourage the greatest amount of movement. Okay, so now that the hair is finished, I'll go through and I'll work on the outline. I just wanted like a super clean, crisp outline. So that just when my outline is really clean, it places stronger emphasis on the other details that we put in with the wet cut. So again, here, just cleaning up the hairline. I'm working in small, manageable areas. My eyes are exactly in front of what I'm cutting. Here at the nape, I'm cutting in like a, a U shape, like an oval shaped line, because aesthetically it's a lot stronger and it's more difficult to achieve. I just go through the top, texturizing my shape. I'm working it so until to the point where I can comb the hair with ease and my visual and technical balance is consistent. There we go. Our SS 2020 technique. Enjoy. Enjoy.